In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own FeedBurner account and start to manage your blog's RSS feed with FeedBurner. So what is FeedBurner? FeedBurner is simply a free software from Google. It was actually bought over by Google that allows you to display your RSS feed in a variety of formats and also allows your blog's subscribers to subscribe to your blog's latest post via email for example at problogger.net you can see this subscription form over here and also directly via the RSS feed and another really cool thing about having a FeedBurner account is that you can publicly display how many readers you have via email and via RSS feed so if I click on this little icon here you will be able to see the uh, feed burner for this particular blog. So with feed burner, you can expand the reach and use of your default RSS feed by enabling multiple applications to read your RSS feed. So now let's get started with feed burner. Just go to www.feedburner.com or you can also go to Google and type in FeedBurner and take the first link here, FeedBurner.com. Okay, but since it has been bought over by Google, you would actually go to Google FeedBurner. Now, to get started, you just need a Google account. So if you have a Gmail account, then just use that same email and password over here. If not, you can always click on create an account. Okay, I'm going to sign in to one of my accounts. Okay, so the first thing that FeedBurner would ask you is to insert your RSS feed. Now, how do you locate the location of your RSS feed for your WordPress blog. All you need to do is open a new browser tab and type in yourdomain.com forward slash wp-feed.php and of course replace this with your actual domain name. And when you're done you can just hit enter and here you would get the exact location of your RSS feed. So we're just going to copy this link over here, go back to FeedBurner and paste the link right here. Okay. Now if you plan to publish a lot of uh, podcasts, videos and mp3s and so on, you can also check I am a podcaster, otherwise you can just click on next. Okay, so FeedBurner has successfully detected my RSS feed URL and I would see the feed title of my blog over here. You can enter anything you want over here. Uh, of course, Google also gives you the default suggestion. So I'm just going to go with the default and I'm going to click on next. And there you go. Now my new feed burner URL has been created and this is the URL. So let's click on that and you can see how my RSS feed looks like in FeedBurner. And of course you can see the difference between the FeedBurner version as compared to the default RSS feed. So FeedBurner is a very useful application for you to use to manage your RSS feed and to give multiple subscription options and get more blog readers.